All right, what's up YouTube? This is Tim Howard and uh, thought I would do a quick update video for August. Today is almost the end of August. It's August 26th, it's Friday. I do my water changes on Friday and uh, I thought I'd take advantage. I haven't shown you uh, anything going on in my garage for a while. So I got a lot to cover in a short amount of time, but really the theme of what I want to talk about, tips and tricks to make water changes faster. Um, before I get to that, uh, recently, I saw and watched a great IFG, uh, IFG video on YouTube, Inquisitive Fish Guy, uh, talking about you know the right way to medicate and treat your fish, um, when and when it is not appropriate to QT a fish, and um, how to go about you know treating your fish. So I had recently noticed, and um, we'll see if we can find him. Um, in here, my Caroline Swallowtail. And of course, that, that ruby red has always swim funny, but I started to notice some indications of just a little concave belly. Uh, I also noticed concave belly on my Caroline Swallowtail right there. So he's the worst in my tank. Um, he's hiding behind Sardi with this glare. Him right there, Let's see if we can get him to show off his sunken belly. Very common sunken belly parasite issue. Um, commonly, most fish carry these around in their in their stomachs. And uh, as a matter of fact, when he was a new fish added here, that stress alone from transportation, shipping, adding to a new tank with all these alpha males in here, he got stressed out. His immune system gets suppressed. And the parasite that was previously being kind of subsided by uh, his immune system. Now it's just a little bit suppressed and the parasite gets a little bit more active in his digestive tract. So step one, I did a water change. Step two, I started treating the tank. Because I had multiple fish showing symptoms, that's a big thing. Once you have that parasite, you got that parasite. All these fish will have it. Um, I am about to probably take him out because he needs further treatment. Everybody else looks really good. Um, the other fish that got kind of tattered up was my Moonlight. Let's see, where is my Moonlight? I cannot find him. When we find him, I'll show him. He was the second worst. He was actually going through some scruffs with my Aristochromis here very similar color pattern and uh man, where is he at oh he's right up here all right so you can kind of tell by some of the discoloration he's getting some battle scarring you know side biting um he's definitely not flop flowing his colors showing his fins so he's probably going to get taken out and so is the Caroline Swallowtail for separate treatment in another hospital tank. But because I saw two fish with sunken bellies, that red fish, this one right here, always swimming around on his side, he just always has done that. I went ahead and started a General Cure treatment. General Cure, I buy the big 850 gram. This thing has lasted me almost two years. Probably, wait, probably actually more than that now that I think about it. But it's basically Project Control and Metrodazinol, and that's exactly what's in these two foods. Deworming 2 by Angel Plus and uh, Antiprotozoan Yellow by Angel Plus. So this food is a flake. It is angelplus.com. Medication is got some garlic flake to help fight protozoan. Worms, this one's got Praziquantral. This one has metrodizol, and that's the yellow flake. So this food, this medicated food, has got what you want in it, the prazi, the metro food, dose. Of course, I have my high, good performing North Bend USA Krill Pro and my big bag is getting empty here uh, of cichlid formula. 
Um, and I've been medicating them for, this is the end of week three. So everybody else is looking really good. And I'm gonna end the video with the lights on after the water change. Um, and I'm gonna pull those two fish and they're gonna go to the hospital. And I'm gonna up the ante. I'm gonna douse them in some clout and uh, try to really knock this parasite out so that they can come back to this tank and not recontaminate this fish, these fish. So um, you got to know how that works. And the fact that the last water change I did last week, I, I, I'm sorry, two weeks ago, um, so it wasn't the last water change, but it was two weeks ago, in my Hydor and in my Fluval, I pulled out my Chemipure, I pulled out all activated carbon. So these are just running Biomedia. A filter floss and um, what's the uh, polyfill that's it and the water looks really clean and the water is testing well because I have enough bio so my bio is keeping my nitrites at bay my ammonia at bay um, honestly this is a big thing that I love about Northfin USA like I was looking in here and it's been a week since I did a water change we did a water change a Friday, a week, literally seven days ago. Look, there's poop. Other than that, like all these nooks and crannies, like chronically down here in this corner, there's always poop. But um, man, no poop. You know, one of the things that helps with that is having good clean filters and giving them a little uh, dose of, uh, not aquarium salt, but uh, that other salt. Epsom salt to help them expel their poops. This is this is the sign that you're looking for. Where'd he go? This is my Walter eye right here. And I see a small thread of poop right there. And whenever there's a thread of poop, he's got yeah, see it's actually as long as his caudal his anal fin is. And you know, that me that means to me right there, he has He's got something, see that right there? Long stringy poop, parasite. Hopefully it's his body expelling it. Um, trying to show you right there, white stringy poop, parasite. Hopefully it's dead and it's getting out and you gotta get this water change done and you gotta suck those things out because the parasites can live in your substrate. Totally can live down in here. So even though I've been bedding for two weeks, this is probably gonna be weeks more that I run carbonless and keep uh, at least feeding them the Metro Flake because the Metro Flake seems to do the best with that. Um, Prezzyquantrol as well, you know. But if you're dealing with a sunken belly, I don't get into the positive and negative charge, whatever. But if you got those two foods and you do a week with one and a week with the other, and you're doing two weeks of general cure, you're probably gonna knock out most. But I can clearly see that my Carolina Swallowtail is still not doing quite well. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe as good as he was. I'm not gonna say I'm downgrading him that he's doing worse, but I'm gonna pull him out. I'm gonna get him into a hospital tank. He's gonna go in a clout, gonna follow the directions, and we're gonna hope it goes well. So, um, I thought the purpose of this rant, of this YouTube video, was going to be talking about water changes. So I'm gonna show you my little hookup here. I got a garden hose, a uh, double male adapter hose. This is uh, half inch. You can see half inch upside down there, half inch. And these are half inch PVCs, couple L's. I cut these pieces with a PVC cutter that I bought uh, on sale at a local hardware store. I have another garden hose and then a clamp to a pump. You know, this isn't a supercharged pump. This pump is probably designed for more like a 40 to 50 gallon tank, but it moves the water out. And this, by the time we've been standing here, this is a 10 minute, 10 minute mark. My tank is half full. I have my double bands right here. This is a hundred gallons. That's 50, you know, that's 50 gallons in what, 10 minutes? I don't know about you, but I mean, that's good enough for me. I'm not trying to move the entire tank of water out or move too fast when you're doing your water changes and you shock your fish. Now I do have my garden hose. This is my personal hookup. I have a garden hose out the backyard. This is the side yard. 
I come in through the one window and I drop it in and I add my prime. This is my prime right here, Seachem prime. Off and on, I do the cichlid salt and if I'm feeling extra ambitious, I'll add the marine buffer. But other than that, um, it's just normally the prime. This tank is 100 gallons, so I get my measuring scoop out and do a quarter teaspoon to every 50 gallons. So usually just one scoop. You know, if you're looking at that 50 gallon mark is one scoop, that's it. I'm done. I'm gonna do a little bit more than 50% today just because the meds give them a nice fresh set of water. So we're gonna move really quickly uh, into the garage and then I'm gonna be able to come back here and stop this water flow so it's not some sort of catastrophe. So hold on. All right, well here we are in the fish, well, here we are in the garage. I like to be a fish room, but there's still baby stuff here. So until we get rid of all the babies, <laughs> um, we're gonna have another one. Yeah. So I have like three PVC, actually four. So one, two, three, four. Cut. When I do that tank in the in the um, living room, I'll try to set you down. I do the tank in the living room. Everything not totally uh, the same width out here. So what I end up doing is putting together my setup just on the other pipes. Everything's dry fit, so next thing you know, now I can set it up and do it in this tank, which these are 29, so I don't want nearly as much water taken out of that. So. And then it also works on 55 and the 40s at this length, which is why having this piece as my backup so it works out. And water change commences. So progress on the water change. Isn't it National Dog Day? That's my Claire Bear. My little shadow. It may be National Dog Day, but she's National Dog Water Helper Change Day. All right, here's the update on what goes going on in the garage. Uh, I have the readjusted uh, U-shape pump draining water. It's drained out of that 40 really quickly. Working on that 40. We did that 55. Sorry, 75. 29 I did the siphon on these bottom two tanks and this guy's already going full so I have my black hot you know my black water line uh, coming in and uh, over here I'm siphoning out of this tank so um, you know that's a 70 gallon and I'll do those two 40s with uh, uh, the power head and the 10 and that will be the hospital tank in the back and that's uh, when we'll pull out the Caroline Swallowtail get it medicated with some there's probably control that's Mardell's clout that's the next uh, upgrade for treating basic protozoans if Metro isn't working uh, this is my big can of safe and a little extra paradigm pro and who's in here uh, some males that i just haven't really inside like i have two ingara flame tails a couple females in here so they're messing around my got my electra bucochromis my sitadonis multipuntatus cuckoo catfish um, have some nice fish in here. Um, great fins on that male. And down here, it's a Mallory Mallory Island, and uh, my Ethelene. They're just kind of chilling in here for now. They weren't cutting it 
both lost their color in the big tank, and then uh, Ivoryhead and Meloto uh, getting forced to come out and make an appearance. James Largo, Ivoryhead and Meloto, by the way. Hook up James Largo. Uh, Kate McClear. Um, I have some Chidunga Rocks Mallorize in here. Um, Chidunga Rocks were bred by my friend Mark Snell. I'm uh, looking at West Coast Cichlids. We've got all kinds of cold fish, mostly haps, and uh, the Chidunga Rocks breeding groups. Um, I have a, uh, I believe it or not, that's a Mama Lella with a popped eye. Healed up. I mean, that popped eye was from years ago. Uh, Tetrastigma. Some random females down here I just don't know what to do with. And then fish for sale. I got a living stone eye, albino, uh, composiceps, two tetrastigmas, a red shoulder, zebra obliquid end, all for sale. Uh, sulfur hap, right there. Small male. Just uh, posting on Craigslist, try to sell local. Um, but anyway, so that's how I do my water changes. Rigging up some poses and some power heads and Oh, and then when the order gets full, like it is right there, gotta remember to move the hose. I think I'm gonna try to maybe next summer look at uh, Steve Poland's drip video set up. And I can see drip going into these, but sometimes I think that I'm doing too much anyway, so never really know. Anyways, that's it for my video, that's it for my updates. No, no, it's not. I'm going to show you the living room. So we'll be right back. Okay, so all done. And I uh, just want to walk through real quick, start out here. If you want a Venistus, I will trade or sell. Uh, he's, he's alpha, so they're off in a big 180 or something. Uh, growing out some cool fish down here. I mentioned the Chidunga Rocks. Um, that's the male Chidunga Rocks with full color, a couple subs. Nicoma Blue from Southeast Cichlids. And uh, there is a... Um, see, these Chidunga Rocks have a little bit more of an orange in that collar. They have one Kate McClear in here as well. Uh, female Tetra Sigma, last man standing. Because the male in the far tank just has to get over here. Look at him. He's in the far tank and he's like trying to get over here to this female. Funny. Uh, look at my John Stoney Solo. Showing good color. Love to move him into the other tank soon. Uh, here's the Meloto looking hungry. Got a blaze going on. Uh, Mallory, Mallory. And my Ethelwaney who I might need to start nursing. Uh, I think I see some hexemia. See that hexemia right, right by his gill plate in front of those pectoral fins? At least I can see a little bit of redness. Um, what else? Love to let you see this guy. Look at this fish. Stunner. It's a Gertrude, Chitande type. Just gorgeous. Southeast Cichlids as well. Just he's been in here by himself, so his uh, these two subdoms are just letting him grow and be super powerful. And he's got the fins to show for it. Uh, what's next? Um, let's go inside. Okay, and here we are. Water change done. You know, all my tanks together takes me about like literally just at an hour and a half using my water change pump and uh, my siphon kind of tandemly draining tanks and uh, cranking out some refills with another hose. Just thought I'd show some fish. Finished product. Look at this pile of sardines up here love like how they act like they just like always want food <laughs> yeah so this is everybody
I ended up leaving the swallowtail and the moonlight in. I'm gonna give them another week in this tank with the medicated food and the general cure. And uh, anti-protozoan, Metroflake. Metroflake knocks out most of most of stuff that fish would have from stress or from each other. So, anyways, that's my update video. Hope you enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side.